Welcome back for another episode guys. Today I want to work on the Type R wing that I picked up a little while ago. Here it is separated into its two pieces. This piece right here is going to be the one that needs the most amount of attention. The housing areas where the bolts go, where it threads in, appear to be damaged. So I'm going to have to redo the work here. I've been looking for one used and I didn't think I was going to get this one in the end, but I needed it because I wasn't going to find anything else. Unless I was going to buy this brand new for 300 bucks, that's something I did not want to do. I'm going to go with this route and just test myself and see how I do on fixing this thing up. The individual who sprayed this with the Plasti Diff didn't sand this side, so it peels off pretty easy on this side. Once it gets into this work here that's been done on it, it kind of is kind of tough to pull off. It does come off, but it just does take a little longer. Body work on this won't be significant. I'm gonna do like a nice high build epoxy primer on it and then lay some color clear on it. So it's gonna be looking pretty much brand new when I'm done, but right now still working on taking off the Plasti Dip. With most of the Plasti Dip off of this right now, I'm gonna go outside and start sanding it with some 340 grit sandpaper and I'll try and get this done and get it prepped for some paint. Still sanding away with 320 actually, I said 340 maybe earlier, but it's 320. Pretty much going to the original primer of this piece here, but it's uh, what has to be done. Next step for me now is just to thoroughly clean this. Just using some rubbing alcohol. I'll probably just soap it down, rinse it, let it dry. This is probably gonna be one of my last days before it gets too cold outside to do some painting and I don't wanna be painting here in the garage because of overspray. With this wiped down, now I'm gonna go ahead and mount this up inside the shed like I did before when I painted the hood, but I'm actually gonna mount it off the ceiling, so I've just put the hardware back in here. I'm gonna clean the shed out first and then um, just hang some wire up and get everything prepped up for the spraying. This is like a, kind of like a marine style epoxy. This is gonna take a little longer to dry before I go ahead and spray on the color than clear coat. I have this, but I've had really bad luck with it this pro trim and bumper primer and I used this before on the hood and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna give this a try, mix it up. It's four to one. It's roughly about 20 degrees, 22 degrees Celsius in between there. So this is like an hour and a half drying time before I can top coat safely. I'm gonna do the painting right now, see how this turns out. I'm not gonna put the camera in there just because of overspray, but I'll show you how it looks when it's done. But overall, not bad so far. No runs obviously, because I'm just kind of hitting it pretty light. But yes, you can see the uh, the orange peel effect. It's not the prettiest. Hopefully it kind of levels out a little bit as it sits on here. Second coat came out way nicer. Uh, less orange peel, even though it's still there and a little visible. So with epoxy primer done right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the gun. Let that kind of sit for like a good hour and a half, two hours. Probably get a bite to eat and then I'll uh, come back at it with some color and clear coat before it gets too cold outside. All right, color is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Once again, I just don't wanna put the camera in there and spray at the same time. So I'll show you what it looks like after the first coat. Should be just like a 50% coverage, then I'll hit it heavier on the next one. 50% coverage, still can see through a little bit, but I am barely gonna have enough of the ready to spray paint that I have left over to cover this. I'm gonna let that flash for 15 minutes, then I'll hit the second coat. Second coat's gonna be a little bit heavier. Should be uh, full coverage at that point. And I have roughly like 200 mil in there still. That's a little light than I'd want, but I think this is gonna look good. Compared to what I thought, how it was gonna look because of the epoxy that I was gonna carry over a crazy orange peel, it's still visible, but not like as bad as I thought it was going to be. I just made it with the paint. I had roughly about 300 mil in total on this spoiler alone. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes before I go ahead and lay the clear coat down, which is gonna give me enough time to go ahead and have some dinner. And then I'll get back out here in the shed and spray this up and get this done. I'm very happy with how this is turning out and no bugs so far have really stuck to it. All right, it's been half an hour, 40 minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up my clear. Clear coat. Gonna go back again with this stuff I have left over from the hood. Spraying around like 27 PSI for the clear coat. Works pretty good so far, 27 PSI. Smells a good. All right, so it's time to lay down the fourth and final coat. After that, we'll let it dry up for a little bit and then I'll move it into the garage. I 
I brought it back into the garage, just kind of have it hanging in here nicely. And I'm just going to let this cure up. It's pretty good right now, pretty um, dry to the touch and everything. It's not really tacky. If I push into it, it's not even leaving an imprint. <sighs> All right, so it's the next day, guys. The following day, I've let this dry up. It's hardened enough that I could probably take it off this, but I'm just going to leave it here for now. I've started uh, working on sanding this. I'm almost near the end. I still have to obviously take care of these um, hardware pieces right here over there. I'm not gonna sand all of this off here just because it's hidden and there's no reason to do so. So I'm really just sanding off this entire edge in here. So when I paint, I can at least overlap and be covered. Luckily there's nothing when it comes to like filler work on this piece right here. Mind you also, it is covered mostly by the wing itself. So I really don't have to worry about uh, being super perfect on this, but I'm still not gonna rush through this and make this look crappy. I did go to the store to grab some new hardware and I came up with this. This is pretty much the exact same thing that was already done here. I didn't like how these turned out. I think they're actually not sitting flush too. So I'm gonna, if I was to mount this on the car, I feel like you would actually have it not clean and flush. So I'm gonna get rid of these guys and replace these. Got the new hardware and I got some uh, JB plastic bond. Uh, that'll ensure that this stays in permanently, I hope. These all have now been just grinded out. I've also drilled into those old areas as well to just accommodate these pieces in here because filler or the epoxy around it so it'll bond a little bit better to the plastic. I'm gonna just grind those teeth off nicely so it kind of sits like a flat washer on top. Normally they sink into wood but I can't sink into epoxy that's left over here or plastic and then that'll kind of give the epoxy a little bit more surface area to bond to against the plastic. So that's basically it. Simple, nice and quick to get those knocked off. And then they just go back in nice and clean. I will probably do a little bit of epoxy around it not kind of how it was before where it just had a crazy mountain and now i just feel a lot more safer here that this is a lot more of a cleaner transition here there had to have been like a little ugly gap against the window against this so i'm gonna mix eh. that's good it came with like a wooden stick that i'll just use here to mix some. I'm pretty sure this is what the guy used before, probably too. Uh, all around it. Give it a nice press, let it kind of ooze out nicely. Not looking to press too hard. Keep it in there, level. All right, just give it a nice push. So I ended up going around it again with the JB weld that I had, kind of getting over the edges of that metal hardware piece. I don't know what this is called exactly, but uh, this looks really good. I'm just gonna sand off these edges a little bit more, flip it over, clean it up, start painting it. Prepped up right here, I got it standing, I've cleaned it up. I'm gonna be able to spray underneath it to get the lip. So the paint that I'm using, the paint that I'm using is just this Rust-Oleum paint, flat black. It's uh, done up all my trim pieces so far on the rest of the car, so it's gonna be fine for this application. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray one light coat and then probably like another second and third medium heavy coat, and that'll be it for this. The painting is completed. The smallest imperfections, like right here, you can see something like I didn't sand fully, but once the uh, wing is on top of that, it's really gonna hide the uh, imperfections, which are very minor. I'm gonna let this dry overnight, and then hopefully tomorrow I will be able to install this. All right guys, so the Type R wing is now installed on the Civic. I'm just gonna give you some close-up shots on it. I think it turned out really nice. I'm looking forward to the next upgrade on the car, which is actually gonna be the, the grill and the side markers. I got the grill already painted. It's just pretty simple. I just painted it flat black. Uh, the side markers though, 
where we're gonna have to do some cutting on these fenders from what I've seen online that it seems like a pretty easy process and I shouldn't run, in, run into any issues. So let's just take a quick look at how the wing looks. Thanks again guys, I will see you in the next video. Do leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Garage Specific.